is your kickstream lagging? I'm going to help you figure out how to stop drop frames in your kickstream. Let's get into it. There are a number of reasons why this issue of drop frames is an issue for you from hardware issues to internet issues to even things that are out of your control, such as application problems or errors. But let's not waste any time. Hopefully these few tips can fix your problem and get your stream back to looking amazing with no drops and no lag. The first thing you want to do is definitely test your internet connection. Test your internet speed and ensure that your internet speed is high enough to actually handle the bit rate and the quality you're trying to stream at. Sometimes in our settings, we can have our bit rate a little bit too high and it's probably not that your PC can't handle the bit rate or handle the quality, but maybe you have to figure out the right balance to make them both work as a team. Make sure that you pay attention to what your internet speed is and also your limits on your speed. Sometimes if you don't have an unlimited data plan and you have limits to the amount of internet that you can use, that sometimes can hurt your stream quality. So make sure that you know exactly what type of internet plan that you have. Now, no one is saying you have to have the best or the fastest internet to actually have a high quality stream, but you have to know what your limits are. Even if you're using a really slow internet speed, there's still a way that you can have an amazing high quality stream. One thing to take into consideration, although Wi-Fi has come very, very far, when it pertains to streaming, having an ethernet cord and being hardlined, as they would call it, into your PC will be better than trying to use your Wi-Fi connection to actually stream onto kick. The only way that this usually worked as far as using Wi-Fi to stream to kick is if there was a possibility that you could stream from your console to kick. But as of right now, that's not really the case. So you have to make sure that you use an ethernet cord that actually connects to your computer so you can actually take advantage of your internet and get as much bang for your buck even if your internet speed is slow. If you have a computer that has a lot of applications on it, make sure before you run your OBS that you close any apps that you're not using. Because although you're not currently using those applications, they can still garner a lot of the internet and the data you need to really make sure that your stream quality is really good. So make sure you close those apps and even those background apps you want to hit control alt delete on your computer and you want to open your task manager to see exactly what's running in the background that you need to maybe turn off with modern technology more and more of our computers are coming with more and more things such as apps like netflix hulu or any other apps that you may not actually use on your computer but the thing about that is they're still there unless you remove them and they still update on the regular basis so make sure that you close those apps so that your computer can work harder for you and your internet can work better by not trying to update all the apps on your computer at one time while you're trying to stream. If you guys want more content just like this I have a full playlist right here that can definitely get you on the way to being prepared and set up to have a successful kick streaming channel. So definitely check that playlist out. The next thing you might want to do, and I know this is very basic, but you'd be surprised at how much it would actually help. You want to restart your computer. Computers need time for rest. They need time for updating. They need time to make sure that they run and function and get all the bugs fixed that they need to be fixed when it comes to standard updates in the computer. Most computer softwares have a lot of updates that happen on the regular basis, but you usually have to shut down your computer or restart your computer to actually get the updates. So make sure that you actually try restarting and shutting down your computer at least once a week, if not twice a week, if you can. So most of us want to stream at 1080 times 720p. Sometimes even that may not be the best way or the best place to start when you're just starting out or if you are just trying to figure out exactly what your streaming limits are as far as your internet. Start at a smaller bit rate. Starting at a smaller bit rate and a smaller resolution 
could help the quality of your stream. Because although it's not gonna be in 4K or 1080p, and sometimes not 720p, you will still have a better stream that isn't lagging, that your viewers can actually enjoy when they're watching your stream live. When I first started streaming and my personal experience, my bitrate was extremely low because I was trying to figure out exactly what worked. But over on Kick, it seemed like it's easier to have a higher bitrate and have better quality. Even though Kick might allow that and they might actually provide that accessibility as far as their own servers and their own network, you have things on your end that you have to be sure are up to par the way you can actually stream at a higher quality with no lag. What I did, I started my bitrate really low and I gradually built it up. I was just monitoring my streams. I'd watch my streams, look at my lag, and I would see if my lag got better or my lag got worse. Because the thing about this, from a viewer's perspective, it's not just about the video they see in the frame that could be lagging. It could also be your audio. So you have to consider both of those things, both video and audio when it pertains to your lag. So changing the resolution and lowering your bit rate might be the best way to actually do this when it pertains to streaming on kick and having no lag. If you have a really good internet plan and you know you have unlimited and your speeds are supposed to be really high, if you're still having issues as far as lag, reach out to your internet provider. See if they can see a problem on your end or even send out a technician to figure out exactly what could solve the problem that you're having when it pertains to lag in your internet. Because sometimes even if you have all the pieces and you do everything right, the company that you use for your internet may have its own issues that they need to address. So reach out to them. Don't be afraid to say, hey, I'm paying for this. This doesn't work the way it's supposed to. And be honest with them. I know in a way for us streamers, it's really uncomfortable to say, hey, I'm a kick streamer and I'm trying to be sure that my quality looks good. You have to say those words to them so they take you serious. So when you call them, just be honest with them and try your best to be patient. This last thing here, I feel like is a last resort. I don't think it should be the first thing you should really focus on that much. Check out your graphics card. Figure out exactly what type of graphics card you have. Figure out if it's your computer, if your computer is outdated. Figure out if you need to buy a new computer or you need to buy a new capture card or something like that because sometimes it's not just your internet. I know a lot of people look towards your internet as far as being the culprit, as far as lag and slowing down and speed, but sometimes you just need a new computer. That's just how it is, I mean. So take that into consideration as you're trying to figure out exactly what could be causing your issues as far as lag and drop frames during your live stream. And if you don't have the budget, just gradually piece things together. Get a graphic card here get a new PC there. These are all things that you can gradually get that you don't have to all get at one time. You can continue to use what you use. You can continue to build your brand and your stream and your channels without having to wait on the process of, I don't have the money to pay for all these different things. Now, before we end this video, there's one more thing I want to make sure I mention to you guys. This is a bonus tip and I think it's really important. So as you have drop frames, especially while you're live, your chat may say, hey, you are having drop frames. Hey, your audio is a little off. Hey, 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 hey. They may say different things in your chat that might make you feel like, man, my stream sucks. But the thing is this, you want that positive feedback. You want that feedback from your audience to say, hey, this doesn't look good. This doesn't sound good. And you wanna write those things down and take it into consideration. This is about building your brand and building your community and your community is trusting you to have a good stream and to take what they say into consideration. When they come in your chat and they say, hey, your stream looks a little off today or it's a little laggy, just take note of that. Adjust things. And even in the beginning, if you're just starting out, adjust while you're live. Talk to your chat. Hey guys, does this look better as you're adjusting your bit rate? They are right there being the ears and the eyes to making sure that the quality of your stream is really good. So I hope that this helped you guys out. Definitely don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and let me know. 
Do you have any other questions when it pertains to kick? Let me know in the comment section. I'll see you guys next time.